Hey guys, welcome to the seventh video of my series on introduction to pandas. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a very important function called value counts. So what is value counts? Um, value counts is actually a function which can be used to get the count of unique values in a particular column, or you can say a, any kind of panda series object. So let us try to check it out. So first of all, let me import the pandas um, library. And now I'm using the um, IMDb dataset which contains the top thousand highest rated movies on IMDb. So now df.head will give me um, a basic preview of my dataset and as you can see that there are a lot of uh, movies and each movie has a particular genre, right? So in each of the genres, I would like to know that how many movies are of the crime genre, how many movies are of the action genre and so on, right? So that will be a nice information to know because that will give me some insights into my data. Like it will help me to know that which kind of movies are the best or are into the top thousand movies, right? So for that kind of data, what we need to do is that um, first of all, we need to filter out the particular thing that we need. So let's say here I need only the genre values. So here I've got all the genre values. So now what I need to do is that in this particular series, as you know, I have to convert, I have to get some data, which is the count of the unique values that are in my series. So in my series, the unique values are crime, action, Western, adventure, biography, drama, and something else there might be biography, maybe. Yeah. So these are the different values and I want to have the count for these values. So this might look a bit similar to the counter thing that you must have learned before, right? So if you just try to do from collections, import counter, and if you just try to do counter BF genre, look at that, we get that. We get crime movies count, action movies count, drama, western, adventure, biography, and so on, right? So in this way, we get uh, a count. And as we can see from here, the drama movies are the um, have the maximum count in our data set. So this is one way of doing this, but a more better way or a convenient way of doing the same is to use the value counts function. So by using the value counts function of any series, you will get a frequency table of your series like this. So right now, as you can see, we have got drama 278, comedy, action, and so on. And the data format and the format, or you can say the data structure that in which we are getting this information is again a series. So now it's an interesting thing to note here. The first thing is that DF genre, this is a series, a series which is being used to represent the genre column. And now when I used to apply the value counts function, then again, the output that I'm getting is in the data structure series so now one thing to note here is that what is the index of this particular series for this particular series the index is actually the unique values of my column so in the df genre series the unique values which were like drama comedy action all those unique values become the new index of my output like drama comedy action and the values become their counts so in this way quite cleverly or you can say quite efficiently, Pandas has used the same data structure for representing different kind of things, right? So yeah, this is how you use the value counts and let me call it GC. So if it is GC, then I can just use GC dot plot again. So as you must have seen in the last video that how you can plot any kind of series by using the dot function, by using the dot plot function and value counts is again a series. So I can again use the plot function here. So if I just do gc.plot, um, okay, so first of all, I will have to do matplotlib inline so that I get the plot right here. Okay, so right now, it by default, pandas library makes a line plot out of your data. But let's say in this case, I want a bar chart, so I will say kind is bar. So look at that, we get a very nice looking bar chart here. As we can see from here, drama has the maximum number of movies, then comedy, action, crime, biography, and so on, right? So in this way, we got a very nice plot, a bar chart here. Again, now let me plot um, a pie chart here. So I can also plot a pie chart. So here is a nice looking pie chart for me. So as you can see, drama has the maximum biggest slice and so on. So yeah, this is how you can use the value counts function 
and interesting thing to note about it is that the output is in the data structure again series and you can again plot it in form of a bar chart or a pie chart so yeah that's all about value counts i hope the concept is clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching